All right, so I'm out with the 900 and the Manicore today. I'm at the old school. I've hunted here before. There's still plenty in the ground. We'll go over some low conductors, some high conductors, and we'll compare the two machines on each target. And we'll see what we can find. All right, for the Manicore, we're at volume 20. We're using all-terrain general, noise canceled at a two, ground balance zero, recovery speed five, ferrous limits I put back to nine and five. This ground is trashy here, and you'll be able to hear that, but uh, no rusty nails to really deal with here. Ferrous volume, one, I'm using one region all tone, audio theme normal, and that's it. So right here, we have a 40, nice tight dot. All right, for the 900, we uh, noise canceled at a seven, ground balance zero, volume 20 as well, no threshold. I'm in all tones, and I'm using FE2 and a recovery of five. So on this one, 42, 41. Sensitivity, we're at, we'll go to 20. Forty-one right there. Okay, let's see what we got. There it is, right outside of the plug. That was a old pull tab. So forty forty-one. All right, this one right here. Seventy-seven, seventy-nine. We bump up the sensitivity a little bit on the 922. We're running the Manicore sensitivity at 20 out here. So 77, 78 when I turn on it. 80, 81. All right, let's see what the Manicore says. All right, you can see the manacore telling us there's some iron in there too. See up top? And you can hear it. Let's turn on it. 79, 76. 80. All right, let's see what's down there. All right, so that 7980 was a clad dime. All right, we have a 25 right there. You hear how noisy the machine is, there's a lot of iron in the ground, but that stops you right in your track right there, 25. Same ID, 25, 26. All right, 25, 26 is a nickel. Both machines, same ID. Here's a 55, 56. Nice tight center line dot. All right, the 900. 55, 56, 57. All right, that one was just a zinc penny. I don't know if I can get a year off of it, but just a zinc penny. All right, so this is a 31, 32 with the manacore. All right, the 900, 30, 31, 32. All right, that was a tiny button with the shank on the back. See that? Probably maybe a pair of jeans or something. All right, right here we have a six which fall, definitely falls into that foil range. And when I turn on it, it turns to iron. All right, same with the 900. We have a 5.6. We turn on it, turns to iron. Oh, look at that. That six was a hair barrette. Yep, that's what it is. One of the kids' old hair barrettes. All right, we have a 30, some iron mixed in. 
All right, 900 also shows uh, 30, 31. Look at that. Doubt it's silver ringing 30, 31, but very cool. Yeah, you could tell it's silver washed. There's a plating on it. Very cool. Let's put that in front of the coil. Yep, 29.30. All right, right here we have 69, 70, 71. Same thing. All right, let's see what we got. Look at that, another pendant. Let's see if we can clean this up and see what's on it. C, what does it say? Class gear? Class gear it says on it? Oh, it's a zipper. That's not a pendant, that's a zipper. Broken zipper, class gear. All right, the 900 is reading the same, 44, 45. All right, that was a pull tab, 44, 45. Goes up to a 70, no, no, pretty steady. You see a 76 every now and then. All right, Manicore, 71, 72, 69, 72. All right, so that's a nice big gap between a zinc penny, 60, and what was this reading? 69, 70. Around there, this is a wheat penny. So we see one penny, one cent on the back there. Let me see if I can get a date. I don't think I can get a date. I think it says 51. Fifty-three, or f no, 1951, wheat penny, one cent. All right, so this here is a five. So the last five, six we had was a hair barrette. This is also the foil range. All right, so with the 900, five, six. All right, let's see what we got. All right, so that time it was foil. So five, six was foil. Three. 25, oh, this is the 25. So it could be a nickel. Let's check it with the 900. All right, with the 900, we're getting 27, 20, there's a 26. All right, so that was not a nickel. That was a pencil eraser. We'll recheck the hole really quick. Move the plug back. Yep, that was it. Pencil eraser. All right, we have an 84, 85 on the 900 right here with an occasional 91. Look at that, 78, but I see a 93 in there. All right, so the mana core on this one, right there. Yeah, some high numbers in there. 80s, there's the 80. Seventy-nine. Might be some other trash in there with it. All right, let's check it out. All right, that one was a dime. 80, 81. This right here sounds really deep. And we're hitting 90 sometimes. Come up a little bit and it's gone. 95, 98. Right here. Ooh, 96. Let's turn on it. Ooh, deep quarter. Could it be silver? mark that and get the 900. All 
All right, so this is a 900, and there we go, that 95, 96, 97. This is with sensitivity 22. All right, so it's right here. Oh, I got it out. No, what are you? You're not silver. So that is just a very deep penny. It up averaged into the uh, low 90s on both machines. They both acted the same with it. We will rescan the hole, but oh, it's a wheat penny. Well, that makes me feel a little better. <laughs> All right. Let's check the hole. <clears throat> oh, I thought that was silver. It sounded so nice. Nope, that was it. So a deep wheat penny. What's the date? 1954. All right, I hope this helped. I hope this video helped uh, understanding the IDs on both of them. As you can see, they're very similar. If you get the ID on one, you most likely get it on the other run in multi-frequency. I haven't checked single frequencies, but... I'm going to head out of here, everyone. Thank you for watching. Take care. We'll see you on the next one.